Hey guys, Nifty Thrifty Girl here uh, showing you a Kenmore Model 1941 today. This is a convertible machine, meaning that it can be used as either the flatbed as you see it, or it can be a free arm. And the free arm is accessed just by pushing the button back here on the back side and pulling it off the deck. Now this one does have a nice snug fit, seems it was not removed much, so you have to give it a little tug to get it off. And of course that exposes your free arm for pants legs, shirt sleeves, small stuff that you might just need a small area for. Um, that in the, Your bobbin access is here, sorry I lost the train of thought. Class 15 bobbin access there, and this lever here drops your feed dogs. Now the deck goes back on, it's as easy as it came off, give it a little shove, straight on. Now if you need to access your bobbin or your feed dog drop and you don't want to remove the whole deck, that's as easy as pushing a little button here on the end, removing the panel, boom, there's access to your bobbin and your feed dogs. And then that snaps right back into place. Now this machine also has a buttonholer attachment, I believe. I don't have it to include, but the buttonholer attachment has a plate that replaces this one, and it'll have a silver plate with a gear on it, and it has an external buttonholer attachment, but I do not have that. This is a, a machine with built-in stitches. There is no uh, cam access, and it has stretch and regular stitches, and it has Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve stitches. And to go from regular to stretch, that's just as easy as flipping this little lever here from red to white. Everything is color coordinated. The reds are regular, the whites are stretch. Double needle capable. Everything can be sewn with a double needle. Um, it is a super high shank machine that is proprietary to Kenmore. It does come with couple super high shank feet. It's got an overcast foot and a zipper foot. It also comes with a Q foot, which is in a little green case. That's your stretch foot. So you use ballpoint needles with that foot and that's for stretch fabric. It also comes with a Kenmore logo bobbin holder, which is really cool. This is vintage. It holds 12, I'm sorry, 10 bobbins. Easy peasy machine to use. It's all metal. There are no plastic parts. Bobbin winders up here on the top, engaged up there, um, stitch width here, stitch selector in the center, stitch length on the bottom, reverse here, your power's over to the side, it has a built-in light. And this machine is serviced and ready to go as well upon delivery, um, and like I said, it is ready to go. Favorite, favorite machines are Kenmore's. If you've watched any of my other videos, you already know that. But here we go. Right now it's on regular straight stitch. Beautiful, smooth machine. Besides the fact of how it works, Kenmore's just sound so good when they're sewing. Go to a wide width for a zigzag. Tension is perfect. You don't have to adjust the tension a lot on these machines. As you'll see in just a second, I'm going to put five layers of denim in here and I'm not going to touch the tension. The only time you might have to touch the tension is if you're doing something super delicate like silk or taffeta or something like that that you really, really want to loosen up so it doesn't bunch up your fabric. But if you're just doing regular stuff, these Kenmores hold a perfect tension pretty much all the time. Now, to show you how easy it is to flip to stretch, we were just on regular. Now I'm going to take this little lever right here, flip it over to the white dot, boom, you're on stretch. You want to make sure you have everything as, you want to have it on six and four, and you're doing a rickrack, which is a stretch zigzag. You see the fabric moving up and back. Now if I want to switch, I just Turn the little thing here in the middle. And we'll do that's a nice pattern that you see on bodices. Down 
nice it sounds. No mechanics, no electronics. This machine is all mechanical. A brush and a bottle of oil, keep it maintained, keep it clean, keep it lubricated. This machine should never need to see a shop. Um, now we'll go back to regular, which is the red dot. This is a multi-point zigzag. And this table, this um, machine, as you can see, is ready for tabletop use. Or there are vintage Kenmore free-arm carrying cases out there. I don't have one available right now. But it would be a yellow case, and it just sits down in the base of it, and you just carry it like that. Um, there are also cabinets that these can be put in. They're very hard to find. If you don't find the machine in the cabinet, you're probably not going to find one. Um, because they're special, they have a plate that they bolt to from underneath, and the plate drops down in the cabinet. So they're very specialized. You'd be lucky to find one um, empty without a machine in it. So that is what that is. I'm going to take this out, and then I'm going to show you the denim. This is five layers of denim. I'm using a size 16 needle. And remember that this is a super high shank machine. It does not use regular tall shank attachments. It has to have the Kenmore super high shank attachments. Um, a regular high or tall shank attachment or presser foot is not going to work on this machine, so don't even try it. Um, this has a little bit of a slant to it, more so than a regular tall shank, but it's not as slanted as the Singer. So it's very proprietary to these Kenmore Super High Shank machines. There's your five layers of denim. Pulling it through like butter. Nice, 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 and nice. I'm going to pull out a couple layers of leather here. I forgot about leather. So, pull out some leather. There's three pieces. It's kind of shiny, so let's hope it doesn't slide. A walking foot is a lot better if you want to do projects with leather a lot. Um, they're kind of hard to find for the super high shank, but they do exist. Usually about 50 bucks. But if you do a lot of leather projects or sticky fabrics um, that you want it to just walk through instead of pulling through with the feed dogs, a walking foot would do you better. Let's see how this is going to work. Should be okay. I'm not going to go super fast. You know, I want to let the machine do its job. And it's doing okay with just a regular zigzag foot. This is. Actually, this might even be vinyl. I don't know. But anyway, it shows you the capability. And my email is underneath the video. If you have any questions about this Kenmore or maybe another Kenmore, use my direct Gmail that's underneath. Don't send me a message on YouTube. It's hard for me to get messages on there, and I won't respond. And I definitely don't want to ignore your messages or your questions. So there's a few layers of pleather, leather, whatever it might be. I think it's actually leather. It feels like leather on the bottom. Perfect, perfect stitch on that. This machine is wonderful. Like I said, it is the flatbed, the free arm. It uses standard bobbins, standard needles. It has utilitarian and decorative stitches. You pretty much can't go wrong with this machine. It's not the prettiest cosmetically in a few places. The panel here has some paint dings in it. Of course, paint dings don't uh, have a lot to do with performance. And that is your Kenmore Super High Shank Model 1941 convertible.